Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's all about hitting up the Halloween sales and what stores have what percentage off. And right now I'm in Target and oh my gosh, did I go overboard? <laughs> Let's find out. Today I'm headed to Walmart to see what kind of clearance they have for their candy and for any of the other odds and ends that they have. And then I hit up Target where we see what kind of costumes they have and what kind of decor that they're offering at what percentage off. And then we're going to Winco. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what the bulk section looks like and then we'll see what kind of Halloween deals they have. So let's get to going and let's start shopping. Oh yeah. All right, everybody, we are at our first store and that is Walmart. Now we call this the little Walmart. We do have two of them here in Missoula. They usually have a clearance aisle and then I bet they have a bunch of their Halloween stuff on clearance. Sometimes it's at the front of the store, sometimes it's all around. So we're gonna kind of do a loop and then we'll see what we can find. So let's get into Walmart and let's check out the goodies. Before we get too far into the shopping, please make sure to give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Every like, comment, share, it really helps support my channel. Thank you so much. All right guys, let's get in there and let's do some shopping. I'm just kind of showing you here, our snow is melting. Hopefully we'll get some more soon. I love the snow. Now Walmart, I do not go to very often. I just came here because I wanted to see what kind of Halloween sales. The kids were very disappointed in our Halloween decorations this year. So that's what I'm on the hunt for. I did notice that they already have Thanksgiving stuff stocked, which of course they already have Christmas stuff as well. So this is just kind of the beginning where you walk in and you can see what they have laid out. And then I see my first clearance cart, which is this, I think it's Metallica dolls. It's nothing my family would really enjoy, so I just skip over that. I noticed some scarecrows here. Um, I don't have any scarecrow decorations, but that's okay. That's not really what I'm looking for at the moment. Just kind of looking for other Halloween stuff. Now they did have a couple of the cookie stuff. They had these sprinkles. We still have quite a bit of Halloween sprinkles, and those were still $3 and something at 50% off. So I decided to go ahead and skip those. They had a couple of these pre-made cookie kits available that you could decorate. Some of those pans there, they had a pumpkin pan and a skull pan. Those look kind of cool, but I don't see myself using them very often, so I didn't take those. I like these purple plastic bowls, but they were just like really plasticky. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I like them, but they weren't calling me, you know. So I skipped over those. A couple of different Halloween cups that you could get. And then here's some more cookie sets, that dirt cup decorating kit. I need to make one of those dirt cakes one time. They're super fun. Then a couple of push things for pumpkin decorations. They did have some Halloween plush blankets there. I didn't really look at those though. Just a couple of odds and ends. I do like the window decors here, but it just seems like they always get destroyed and they're a waste of money. So I just don't get them anymore. A couple of pet clearance stuff and then they had all their costumes everything was 50% off no matter what it was so that's kind of cool to see what different costumes were available they had some cute baby ones oh my gosh look at the little ninja turtle okay okay calm down and then lots of makeup I don't really get too much makeup in general I was thinking about getting some of the nail polish but I just kind of look in to see what they have a lot of it was picked over I do like this glitter makeup. I was considering getting that, but decided not to because glitter has no place in my house. So I skipped over that. A couple of fake eyelashes. I have never worn fake eyelashes. Now that would be a fun video. <laughs> Mama Bear trying to put on fake eyelashes. So just a couple more of different makeup stuff. Oh, here's a dog toy one. I would totally get discounted dog toys if Jack was into toys. Last year, I got some dog treats that were like $2 each for the Halloween ones when originally nine. So I got those. They stocked Jack up on treats all year. And then they have a couple of like the hairspray for the different colors. I skipped over that stuff. And then there's costume accessories. So some tutus. I noticed this ninja backpack. And that's something that Gideon and Conrad, I could see them each having a sword and really going at each other. Or Betty Jan. She's just as... Um, loving as the brothers. Look at the way he got stuck in the car, guys. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there. So, um, then some more. They had like this fake straw and then this Demi Gorgon. Oh, your kids like Demi Gorgons and stuff and just Stranger Things. I mean, it seemed pretty cool. 50% off would have made it $10. I was kind of feeling around though to see if it did anything, if it made any noise. And it didn't. It was just a stuffed animal. So I was like, eh, nah, it doesn't do doesn't do anything cool enough 
to get it. And then it just held this happy Halloween garland banner. And I was like, oh, that'd be pretty cool to hang up next year. And that would, the kids would enjoy having that and seeing that. So 50 cents, I went ahead and got it. Here's a couple of bag clip holders. I thought that was a little interesting. And then some more accessories. Here's an out of candy sign. That would be good for some of the houses. And then a little makeup thing for Harley Quinn. A couple of odds and ends left. There's a few inflatables. The minion one is cute. The kids would like that. And then there's penguins and um, ooh, a Demi Gordon inflatable. That's kind of cool. A little super scary for the kids, right? <laughs> but I didn't get any of that stuff. Even at 50% off, it was still kind of high. I do like this witch, though. I don't know. Now that I do my Wicked Witch while I'm at the park, it kind of gets me into liking witchy things. That's all the Halloween clearance they had, but I'm going to go and check out the clearance aisle that they have there as well. I just see a couple of floor lamps. There's an advanced potty train so you can give your kid who's not potty trained a spot to put their tablet while they go to the bathroom. That's convenient. <laughs> a couple of fans, a Barbie. I didn't even see what that was. A Barbie something or other. Um, it, even stuff that's on clearance, it still seems like it's high and expensive for me, especially at Walmart. Like, look, $20 for this Bowser still. That just seems like a lot to pay for a toy that's plastic. It's just going to fall apart. I've gotten a Mario toy, toy before from Walmart. It's falling apart. But here's a couple of Pokemon stuff, some uh, sunglasses. I don't know. It's kind of interesting all the different things that end up in the clearance aisle. Some ink. Like I said, the toys are just still ridiculously expensive to my taste. I thought this book was kind of cool. 50 states, 5,000 ideas to do. But it's still $10. I don't know. Does that just, am I just cheap? I don't know. That just seems, still seems expensive. A pair of socks at $4 still. So they have the different groups where they do it 10 and under, 5 and under is how they organize sometimes. Sometimes it's not that organized. So here's just what this particular Walmart has on clearance. Nothing really popped out and struck me. I mean, a couple of the bug maintenance stuff. This would be a good time to stock up on that for next year and in the spring. That's really how I save a lot of money is just by looking at clearance and buying stuff while it's out of season. That's really what's going to save you quite a bit of money is doing that. Like, look, $3 for a pair of scissors still just seemed a lot. $3 each for nail polish. That just seemed like a lot to me. So I kind of just skimmed through the aisle. There is some um, bug killer and stuff, spray. Nothing too exciting, though, on that side. Let's go see what's on the other side. And I hope there's better deals on the other side. It's all this unicorn kite, but is it just me? But I am a horrible kite director, flyer person. I cannot do it, and it disappoints my children every time because I can't do it. So I didn't get that, even though I'm pretty sure Betty Jan would love that. Uh, a couple more toys here, Supermobile, there's a kettle, sleeping bag, oh, the camping stuff's going on sale now. Here's some cat food. Yoda refuses to eat wet cat food. She is dry kibble only, so I didn't even bother to look at that. It, oh, it's just it's a cute baby. The little baby wrinkles, oh my goodness. But you don't see diapers on clearance very often. I know one mom will appreciate that. And then here's some different rolling pins, but I was looking at the sheets. A king size, that's pretty good, but still $16 for one fitted sheet. I don't know. $15 for a portable bobber. I don't know. Why would you need a portable bobber? I, I don't know. So I just skipped all over that stuff. But here's some different games. Another Barbie set. Still just so expensive. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good clearance deal for me. And that was about all on the clearance section there. The next clearance section that I noticed was an end cap that had Pioneer Woman fabric and scissors and cutters. So kind of like sewing stuff, some ribbon. I thought that was really cool. I like the floral Pioneer Woman prints. I do think it's a little overplayed and a lot of people use them. And I don't have a need for fabric this time, so I decided to pass that by. And on my way looking for more clearance stuff, I noticed that they had plenty of canning jars and Sir Gel. So let's just keep walking and see what other kind of clearance things we can find. Here is a Hydrovac, Shark Hydrovac, $129. I really do like the Shark vacuums. I think they work fantastic. Then I had to hit up the Sweet Treat Dessert Cart. This is where all the bakery items that are in clearance go. And I noticed these Halloween cookies where you color on them. And it comes with edible markers and the cookies. And I was like, oh, that's super fun. It was $4.93. Not too bad. I'll take it, 494. 
I'll take it and I'm sure the kids will enjoy working and coloring with that. I did notice a couple of other cookie packs that I was considering, but I ended up sticking with that Halloween one because that was super cool. They had so much stuff that went out, guys. Like, look at this. Just two racks full of treats. And I resisted it all. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to check out what kind of candy they have. It was 50% off just like all of their Halloween stuff, so that was a nice surprise. Candy seems to be the last thing to get discounted sometimes. So there's still lots of it left over, lots of big packs. Um, I am a candy corn fan, and especially those pumpkins. Something about the pumpkins tastes better than just the candy corn. So I got one of each to keep for candy pumpkin cakes and stuff like that. They had all different kinds, ones that I saw with that my kids got from trick-or-treating. I recognized the type of candy that they got from other people's houses. I did get these Krabby Patties because the kids were talking about them that they saw them at a house. So I'm going to save those for Christmas. And then husband and I just love the Reese's Pumpkins, so I got a pack of those for us. 30 bucks for a thing of candy. I don't know. That's just outrageous. And no wonder there's so much leftovers because no one can afford these prices right now. No one can afford to pay that much for just candy. And then 24 pops of these ring pops. Betty Jan really enjoyed the ring pop that she got from someone's house. But I decided not to get that. And that's it for Walmart. So let's go check out and let's see what damage I did. All right, guys. I am out of the first Walmart. And anything that I bought for Halloween that was 50% off ended up being $15.44. So that's how much I have spent so far. And I got some candy. Some of it I'm going to save for Christmas stockings. Other is for a husband and I to enjoy. But I think that was a good find and I'm happy with what I got. The cookies were the most at $4.93, but I think the kids will really enjoy coloring those. So I think that was worth it. You know, I got to think of the children occasionally. That was really fun. So store number one, check. Let's hit up the next store and let's see what we can find. All right guys, I'm out of Walmart and I made it to Target. Now this just got remodeled into a super Target and I haven't been in it since. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in there. Now I'm gonna try and just focus and get to Halloween clearance and that's it. But if you guys like what you see and want me to do a full tour of our super Target, go ahead and let me know in the comments below whether you think that should be a future video. All right, let's go to this Target and let's see what we can find. All right, now walking into Target, a lot of this has got remodeled. They do have an Ulta there that apparently is kind of like a Sephora, like with makeup and stuff, but a lot cheaper. And then this is the super part that I was talking about that now they have meat and then they have um, produce and dairy. It looks really good. I'm super impressed. I like the ceiling and the lights and the aisles look like someplace that I would want to go down and shop. So I'm really impressed with the job that they did. And I think that it looks fantastic. Where are my basket people at? There's always tons of beautiful baskets at Target. They have lots of storage bins. There's a wine section. Gotta slow this down so you could really see the beauty of it. And then lots of different pots and pans. They have a cast enameled 9x13 pan I noticed that looked great. There's some different cutting boards and Lazy Susans. Lots of different pretty stuff at Target. But you know I am back here headed for the Halloween stuff. So right off the bat, I noticed that they have 30% off, a 90% off, 70% off, and 50% off. So I'm not quite sure what exactly what percentage off everything is. So I'm just kind of looking around seeing if there's some costumes that my kids would like. I always thought it would be fun to have a costume station for them. But these costumes are moving from $15 to $25 a piece. And that's quite expensive, so I would not be able to buy them a lot. But if this stuff is 90% off, I think that would be a good opportunity to stock up on stuff for next year for them. I did notice this witch cape. I wish I would have got that. That would have been good for me for next year. But I was just thinking of the children and didn't think about grabbing something for me. Um, here's a couple of Bruno outfits. Now, they had this tree. It was $75. A bunch of different light-ups and inflatables. Now, I didn't quite know how much everything was, so that's why I was kind of hesitant towards what I was buying. I was kind of looking around, but not really sure yet. I didn't know about the scanner. I did, forgot about Target scanner. I hardly ever go to Target. I did notice the spider web, though, and I wanted that, so I put that in the cart. Then a couple of these painted pumpkins looked pretty cool, but it didn't have a price on it. And so not having a price kind of deters me because I don't know what it is or how much it would be and I don't want to waste my time but again I forgot about the scanner so <laughs> here's a couple of different 
projectors. They had this jack o' lantern that looked really cool. Um, I liked that it was LED and that you can hang it or put it on the floor. So I decided to put that in the cart and we'll see how much that is. And then Betty Jan would really like that cat projector considering she was a cat for Halloween. A couple of different Halloween candies. They had this decal, but um, I didn't really couldn't think of a pot spot that I would put it. So I skipped that. And these window things looked really cool. I really liked that spider, but $35. That's like, ah, I just can't do it. Can't do it. So I put that back. Um, I don't know how much that would have been off, though. So I wish I would have grabbed it and scanned it. And then some of the plastic things like that plastic one just, I don't know, that stuff just doesn't appeal to me. Um, I do like these little skeleton guys hanging down there. And some of these reefs really cool. I always wanted a Halloween reef, but those were $35. So I was like, eh, maybe not. I liked this little welcome to our patch. And then they had this green little Frankenstein guy. He presses butt and he, go, he does a little happy dance. And he does like a creepy laugh at the end. I was like, yeah, we could use some dancey guys. Those are pretty fun. <laughs> but it would probably annoy husband. A bunch of different makeup left over. I decided to grab a little bit. Um, maybe for next year it would be good to do a little more design. The kids will be a little more artsy. Maybe I'll be able to stand painting them a little more. They had a paint a pumpkin set. I was like, no, nah, I'll skip that. And then they had the scavenger hunt plastic Easter eggs, but with jack-o'-lanterns. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then they had these really cool like Ninja Turtles with a mask, a pilot hat. That would have been cool to do with the costume, have like a costume set. And then this little skull caught my eye. I didn't have a price on it at all. And I was like, well, let's see what it does. And then maybe I can talk to the cashier and they might tell us me a price. And it did. It was like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, and then its lights were flashing. I'm like, yeah, that that that's pretty cool. We'll go figure out how much that is. And they had tons of costumes left over. I don't know if stores just overbought or if people underbought, but they had quite a lot left. I was looking for that unicorn set for Betty Jan because that's what she wants to be next year for Halloween, but they didn't have her size. So I'm kind of looking around, but I'm not really wanting to spend too much money and getting the kids costumes and stuff. So I was like, well, we'll just kind of see what they have. And then we'll go do a price check and see. Gideon really loves Captain America. So I was looking at this. I was kind of thinking of him and how he likes Captain America. And maybe next year he can be one of that, even though now I realize that's not Captain America. That's Spider-Man. The chest lit up. That was really cool. Conrad really likes Spider-Man, so I was thinking about him, looking at the Spider-Man ones. And then I realized up top here was the Captain America one. I was like, oh, that's the one Giddy would like. So I got one of those, and I was like, well, we'll take it over to the scanner, and let's see how much this stuff is. Drum roll, please. Okay, come on, scanner. All right, come on. Anybody else struggle with this? Okay. $2.50 for that costume. That means that that is 90% off. It was $25. And now this one, we're scanning this one. Oh, oh, you got to go far. $1.50 for that Captain America. Originally $15. 30 cents for these eggs. The scavenger hunt Easter eggs. 30 cents for makeup. And then I'm going to scan the jack-o'-lantern. Let's see. $1.50. So this was originally $15. So every single thing, every Halloween thing was 90% off. So I may have gone back and went a little crazy and stocked up a bit on my cart because this is an opportunity of a lifetime to get some great things that we normally would not be able to. So I did a little bit of splurging and I got to fill up a whole entire cart. Well guys, we just got out of Target. My back is full, but there's still one more store that I wanna stop at and that's my local Winco. So let's get to going and let's hit up one more store. Winco is a grocery store, kind of like a bulk slash saving store. It's not as bulk as Costco. It doesn't sell it as a bigger quantity of things, but what it means by bulk is that it has bulk bins where you can buy as little or as much as you want. I will give you a peek at those. But first, the Halloween section is right here. They usually always have their clearance stuff right here, and it's actually quite small. I was expecting some more stuff, maybe because Target had a lot, but they didn't have any kind of sign that said how much percentage off it was. They just had the price underneath it so I didn't know if that was the current price or if that was more percentage off that price 
So I was just kind of looking around and seeing if there was anything that I would like and if I'd be willing to pay that price or half off. I got some glitter pins for makeup and then I noticed these canvases and I really like this pumpkin one. Something about pumpkin with that witch's hat and the spiders. I don't know, I really like it. So I got that hoping that that was also 50% off because that would have made that $3.50. Now I did see some different balloons and stuff for parties but we don't really have parties much so I skipped that this looked kind of cool this confetti but it's a cannon so when you take it off it just goes all over the ground I was like nah I don't want to do that they had some fun Halloween treats that would be also good for a trick-or-treat bucket besides just candy they did have some candy there as well um, nothing really stuck out too much I did notice these snakes and these looked pretty cool they said $3.98 so I was hoping they were 50% off and uh, I thought those would be fun for the kids stocking. So I got one of their favorite color, red, green, and blue. So I could put those in their stockings for Christmas instead of giving them to them right now. And I saw these Starburst Pops. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought that looked really cool. Have you guys seen those before? Maybe I'm just missing out. But that looks like something that I would enjoy. But I got a lot of candy at Walmart. So I decided to skip doing any of that stuff. I did see these fruit snacks down here and I was like, oh, you know, the kids haven't had fruit snacks in a while. And they were fun Halloween shaped. I did notice that they had a lot of Christmas stuff out already. Winco does offer a couple of Christmas stuff and different gift sets and things like that. So I was just kind of looking to see what they had. Winco's more of a grocery store than it is an anything else store. Here's their waxer. I don't know his name, but it's a little bear that sits in there and he goes around and waxes the floor. And they got their Thanksgiving stuff setting up in the center as well. They have this delicious beer cooler that has like big cans of beer and different sides of uh, ciders. So I always like to check out that. And then they have a couple, a couple of clearance feed as well. Winco is one of the places that donates to the food bank. So I see a lot of their food at the food bank. I was walking by and I noticed the sushi and I wanted to slow it down to be like, oh, look at that sushi. The kids want to try sushi. I think they're crazy. <laughs> Winko also has a beautiful deli that's set up. It has wonderful meats and typical deli salads. And then their hot bar is really good. I like their chicken wings. But I'm going to come over here and give you a sneak peek of the bulk section. I'm not going to go through and talk about too much of it. But this is all the different kinds of stuff that Winko offers to buy in bulk. You can buy as little or as much as you want. There's different trail mixes, different snacks. There's wasabi peas. This is where also I get my popcorn when I'm stocking up popcorn. Here's the different spices. So if you just want to try a little bit of a spice, you don't have to go buy a whole thing. They have tons of different pastas that are from chickpea pasta to gluten-free pasta. I like to get my tortellini here. All different kinds of options. The scale, you weigh them and then when you get to the register, they use the scale and that determines on how much it is. So I really like the option of getting as little or as much as you want. And they have a good variety. Like there is a wheelbarrow pasta, lasagna pasta. That would be good for a homemade hamburger helper or lasagna soup. And then here's some powdered Parmesan cheese and Parmesan Romano cheese. I think that's awesome that you could just get a little bit of that instead of buying a container. And then here's different beans and peas that they offer, the legumes. They have them up there as well as down there and then they have tortilla strips and fried wontons as well if you want to get some of those for like a salad you're making here's a bunch of dried beans that you can get by the pound i don't know what these are Dur duros do you guys know what that is and then hibiscus flowers and then of course this beautiful giant wall of different flavored coffees when I used to be able to afford coffee, this is what I would get. I would come here and buy a pound of this coffee when it was $8 a pound. Now it's up to $10 a pound, so I don't get this coffee anymore. I just get the ones from Costco. But it's a good way to try different blends without buying a whole bunch of it. And then you can have different agave and apple cider vinegars, avocado oils. You have fresh ground almond butter and peanut butter there. And then they offer quite a bit of candy choices. Whenever we do pinatas for birthdays, this is where we come to pick out what kind of candy we want in our pinatas. And then just so many different dark chocolate options. They have sugar-free options as well here that you can get as much or as little as you want. And then they have the espresso beans. Oof, guys, that's really good stuff. 
I also like that they have single serving candies and it's just different flavored nuts that you can get and it's really quite cool. Does anybody have anything like this where they live or they have they heard of Winco? Is this a store that you guys would like me to do more of a deep dive in and kind of show you what they offer and go around the whole store? I think that would be super fun. This store is also 24 hours. And then they had this dried fruit mix. It looks like it has kiwi in there. I thought that looked pretty cool. And crystallized ginger. I've seen some recipes for that, so it's good to know that I can get that there. And then I'm, on my way out, I had to stop and admire the cupcakes. And the cakes, I don't know, those cakes don't look too good. But the pumpkin cheesecake, now that looks pretty good. And then I saw they had some new wines here. Tropical pineapple fruit infusions. So that looked pretty cool. Sounds like something I would give a try. Wine usually gives me a headache, though. And then they have a giant produce section, guys. Like, you could go and buy one habanero if you want. They have tons of different varieties from all over the world. And it's usually a really good price. 98 cents for a colored pepper. And then they have different pears that are in season. So that's all I'm going to be getting today. So let's go check out and let's see how much this stuff is. Well, I made it out of Winco. It was kind of a bust. Everything was 50% off, but to me, it was still kind of high. I liked that pumpkin canvas, but it was $7.50. And I don't know, after just getting spoiled with 90% off at Target, I wasn't willing to pay that much for a canvas. So I put that back and all the other stuff that I grabbed, except for these gummies, which were $6 for 60 of them. And my kids were really like this. It's been a while since we bought some fruit gummies and they're fun Halloween shapes. So they will enjoy this. And it's kind of nice to walk around the store. If you want me to do a full haul in Winco and kind of show you a little more about the bulk section and go through that some more, then let me know in the comments below. Enough jibber jabber. Let's get home and let's get this stuff spread out and let's see what I got. Look at my haul, guys. Holy moly. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. I have never been able to fill up a full cart like that and go shopping. I'm still giddy over it after a couple of days later. So this is going to be my new workspace in this room. If you haven't seen this room before, there is a video coming on how I'm going to be getting this room put together, if that's something you're interested in. But for now, we're talking about the haul. Look at all this, guys. I spent $120 on all this stuff. I, this is going to be the kids for Christmas. So that means... I got one thing at Walmart for $4, and then I got this at Target for $1. <laughs> so that'll be fun. I should've got a third one for Betty. But then we got all these masks. All of these were, this was $1.50. Yeah, so they got that. And then I got some bigger sizes for one of my twins who's a bit bigger. And then I got some for the smaller guy, and then some for Miss Betty. Look at this cute unicorn one. And then another mask and then a Captain America shield. That was a dollar for Gideon. He loves Captain America. So this is gonna be their Christmas gift. Each costume costs anywhere from $1.50 to $2.50. And I'm gonna give that to all three of them for a Christmas gift of a, like a dress station. So I think that'll be fun. And I've never been able to do that before. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. And then the Halloween cookies was fun. We got some stuff to paint. I'm gonna save that for next year. Um, me, me on the wall. I'm the scariest of them all. <laughs> and I got two of these guys for outside. A witch, I'm not quite sure what she does. <laughs> Excuse me. This guy. The one of the other one at the store didn't make noise, so this one does. Oh. Which is good. I mean, it's got a ah, creepy laugh. All right, and then this little witch lady look cute. I liked that. Ooh, guys, look at this reef. And then that one, so this was $3.50, originally $35. Then I got that one, this cool little light up guy. And then we got a shadow, we got a cat scratcher. Cat scratcher, 
That'll be funny. I might take that out for the kids already. We got a couple pro a light, a couple projectors here. Did you see my big inflatable guy? Originally $100, got it for 10. We've never had an inflatable dude before. That'll be fun. I got some makeup. This was all 30 cents each for the makeup. These eggs were 30 cents each. Yeah, 30 cents each. So I could probably use these. I'm thinking for school crafts. Like I can put words in there and then hide them around the house. And then if they open it, they got to match the word or something like that to help them. But 30 cents for plastic eggs is a good deal. Let's see what the big guy does. How do these work? Do you take these cords off and then they're just on a sensor or something? I've never had one before. Ooh. Well guys, this is the Halloween haul of 2023. Wow. I am ecstatic. I made off like a bandaid. I, people were looking at me when I had a cart full of stuff. They were looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, 90% off people. Like you're the crazy one for not having a cart full of stuff right now. Oh, uh, now I gotta pack all this up and put it up. Thanks for coming along, checking out all the Halloween sales with me and all the fantastic clearance deals we got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds. <laughs>